that. So, Carol, you lived in Taylorsville, mm -hmm. and you were there for a little over a decade. Right. And then you decided to open the store and move up to Daresville. Right. So, what do you think the biggest difference is between a Daresville and Taylorsville? Well, first of all, Taylorsville is very, very tiny. Very There's tiny. Not really much of a downtown. They mm -hmm. do have a little bit of one, but not not like this. Um, the sense of community in Adairsville is different. Taylorsville spread out in a different way, I guess, because the town is a little bit smaller, um, a bit more rural. And we lived in a subdivision, which is a completely different feel. Yeah, because now you're within walking distance of downtown. Mm -hmm. And so as you think about Adairsville, because we have so many people that are thinking about moving to our area, mm -hmm. what do you think you would tell them the top three things about Adairsville is? Um, Number one, the sense of community that's there. It's yeah. got that very small town feel, and they seem to be able to uh, maintain that. But they they welcome new people. Very in. much so. And once you are kind of there, you're part of the community. Mm -hmm. It's not like I have been in areas where if you weren't born there and wasn't raised there, you were never part of the community. No. But they're very open to new people. They are very open to new people. So community, what else? Um... The location is awesome. Yeah, uh, a lot of people when they're moving into the area still, it seems like they want the uh, what small town rural has to offer, but they want all the conveniences of the bigger cities. And you're right there on the 75 yeah. corridor because you can be in Chattanooga in 45 minutes, mm -hmm. and you can be in Atlanta in 45 minutes. Exactly. So wherever you want to go.